Good evening. We are going to present our research regarding the stressors in simulated related learning experience among nursing students. The researchers in this study are Kent Insao, An Lamunto, Natalie Rivando, Jens Luxin, and Lance Malihan. We choose to pursue this topic as according to the study of La Rigue, that the student nurses are frequently exposed to various stressors which may directly or indirectly impede their learning and performance. Now that especially nursing education, specifically RLE, has transitioned to online simulation, it is undoubtedly that the period has been stressful. Purpose of the study. This study, therefore, aims to determine the relation of stress, academic performance of second year, third year, and fourth year undergrad nursing students. And assessing their stress, satisfaction, and academic performance in having online learning in the related learning experience during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now for this research objectives, this study aimed to answer the demographic profile of the nursing students when they are grouped according to age, sex, year level, and connectivity. Then the stressors experienced by the nursing students in the simulated related learning experience in terms of physical, psychological, academic, financial, and technological. Then the level of stress among nursing students in the simulated related learning experiences according to low level of stress, moderate level of stress, and high perceived level of stress. Then lastly, the significant difference in the stressors experienced by the nursing students when taken as a whole or when they are grouped according to sex, age, year level, and connectivity. As for the methods, the research design employed in this study is descriptive quantitative. Using Sloven's formula, the researchers were able to compute and acquire the result of 260 sample population out of 740 levels, 2, 3, and 4 nursing students to be participants in the study. A modified standardized questionnaire was utilized in this study, which had three parts, which includes the demographic profile of the participants, how likely they experienced stressors, and the level of stress. Results. From the demo profile in terms of age, 21 years old and below got the highest percent of 72.3% with a mean of 188. In terms of sex, female got the highest percent of 65.8% with a mean of 171. In terms of year level, Third year got the highest percent with a mean of 107. And lastly, in terms of connectivity, category 2B got the highest percent of 61.1% with a mean of 159. Stressors experienced by nursing students. Among the five categories of stressors, both stressors related to physical and academics had high interpretation based on their mean score results. The physical stressors got the highest mean of 2.97, which includes bad posture, eyesight problems, and excessive fatigue, muscle and joint pains, and headache. As for the level of stress experienced by our participants in their simulated related learning experience, um, it clearly shows that the profile variables of the participants experience stress only in moderation as evidenced by our results. There aren't any significant differences and this could only mean that nursing students during their simulated RLE does not actually have or experienced high or low level of stress and can actually be able to manage and adopt to their stress during their simulated RLE. Now to continue, this table shows the results regarding the relationship between the stressors experienced by nursing students and profile variables. Profile variables, however, there is a significant difference when grouped according to connectivity status with a p-value lower the significance level. And it is revealed that nursing students under category 2b experience significantly higher stress than students under category 3. And lastly, for the conclusion and recommendation, BSN has more female students than male with distinct coping mechanisms. Most students had category to be connectivity status. Majority of the participants experienced physical and academic stress. The level of stress experienced by nursing students is only average. There is no significant difference between the stressors experienced by nursing students according to age, sex, and year level. But there is a significant difference between connectivity status. In order to ensure that optimal health is restored and maintained, the group would like to recommend the following. To USLS College of Nursing, identify students' need and create effective interventions. To the students, find ways that can slowly eradicate stressors and effective coping strategies. And lastly, to future researchers, to reference and proof for future research.